ولی اصلاح نمیدونم چرا وقتی این فوری مطرح شد که حالا ما خود گرفتیم فقط سند ng limang diakono ng SVD na bumubuo ng San Tatlo Klas. Ang ating pong tagapamuno sa misa at siya ring obispong mag-oorden ay ang kagalang-galang na obispo Rinaldo Evangelista Didi, obispo ng Dioceses ng Imus, kasama ang mga concelebrants, SVD provincials at ang mga oordinahan sa pagkapari. Magsitayo po ang lahat. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Please be seated for the words of welcome to be given by Father Samuel Agaracar SVD, Rector of the Divine Word Seminary, Tagaytay. It is a great pleasure to welcome you all to the ordination of the Santa class of the Divine Word Seminary Tagaytay. In a particular way, I welcome His Excellency, the Most Reverend Reynaldo Evangelista Didi, Bishop of the Diocese of Imus. 
Bishop Emeritus of the Apostolic Vicariate of Calapan, Bishop Palawan, sorry, Bishop Pedro Arigo, the three provincial superiors of the SBD Philippine Central or Provinces, Father Romeo Fajardo, Northern Province, Father Jerome Marquez, Central Province, Father Roger Bagao, Southern Province, members of the Arnoldos family, fellow priests and religious, lay partners, family members of the ordinands, our benefactors and friends. We live in a world that is wounded. The pandemic, the war in Ukraine, the threat of global warming are but few of these crises that cause this woundedness. Positively, however, this crisis also produced silent heroes and martyrs. And these heroes and martyrs give hope and inspiration to humanity. Today's ordination could also be a source of hope and inspiration to the church amid the vocation crisis. We are blessed with another five brave men who commit themselves to become heroes and martyrs for the divine word. We pray that true to their name as Santatlo, Trinity in English, they may become ambassadors of peace and healing in our wounded world. Please stand. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to, and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts and in my words, in what, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my, my fault, through my fault, to my most Jesus. grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. You call. 
to strengthen us in Burning your people, make use of the ministry of priests. Grant a persevering obedience to your will, to these deacons of your church, whom you graciously choose today for the office of the priesthood, so that by their ministry and life, they may gain glory for you in Christ, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. Primera lectura. Lia usi profeta Jeremias. Na ilia tu undehan. Molo ko fuin bokan. Ia o nye inang nye kabung. Hawa tene o na o. Molo ko sayu si o nye inang nye kabung. Hawa fir o na o. Hodi halo sa inudar profeta na saung nyan. Hawa tan. Hawa nye maromak. Hawa lha tene ko lia. Basa. Hawa se nura kela. Mai be. Na ilia tuun dehan, labelen hateten au se nurak, basa o se vaya fating nebe au haruka atuba, no o se hateten hotu, buat hirak nebe au haruka o labelen tauk ia siraoin, basa 
Aus der Horik, o, o, abtu soi, o, uir, uir mai, nai lolo liman, o ne ia hau ibun, o di le lia tum nu ne, hau tau hau nia lia fuan, ia o nia ibun, o ri oin ba oin, a fokibit, a tu hukum povu sira, ia na saun hotu hotu, a tu fokit no harahun, a tu halakong no sobu, Atu hari no kuda, maromak futar lia.
Pagbasa, sumala sa sulat sa mga taga-Hebreo. Ang tanang Pangulong Pari, gipili gikan sa katawan o gitudlo aron mag-alagad sa Diyos sa ngalan sa mga tao. Paghalad siya mga gasa o mga halad nga sunugon tungod sa mga sala. Sanglit huyang man siya sa mga kanato, maluoy siya sa mga wala hibang kaagan o sa mga masalay pun. O kay huyang man siya, inahang lang maghalad siya ang mga halad na sunugon dili lamang alang sa mga sala sa katauhan, kundili sa iyang kaugalingong mga sala usab. Walay magpili sa iyang, ka- iyang kaugalingon aron mahimong pangulong pari, kundili ang Diyos may magpili kaniya sama sa iyang ibuhat kay Aaron. Sa samang paagi, si Kristo wala magpili sa iyang kaugalingon aron mahimong pangulong pari, kundili gitulo siya sa Diyos o giingnan. Ikaw ang akong anak, imo na akong amahan karong adlawa. Mingon usab siya sa laing bahin sa kasulatan. Ikaw mahimong pari, hangtod sa kahangturan sa laray sa pagkapari ni Melky Sedi. Sa mga adlaw sa tawhan ng pagkinabuhi ni Jesus, nag-ampog na po siya uban sa makusog nga pagtuaw o gluha nga to sa Diyos. Nga maoy gahom sa pagluwas kaniya sa kamatayon. Tungod kay mapaobsa nun o buutan man siya, binungog siya sa Diyos. Apan, bisan og siya ang anak sa Diyos, nakatun siya sa pagkamasinugtanon. Pinaagi sa iyang mga pag-antos, kay nahimpit man siya, mahimo siyang tinugdan sa dayon nga kaluwasan alang sa tanan nga masinugtanon kaniya. Ughimo siya sa Diyos, nga pangulong pare sa laray ni Melky Hesedi. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to claim the Holy Gospel. reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd 
and whose sheep are not his own, sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Most Reverend Pedro Arrigo, Bishop Emeritus of Puerto Princesa, Palawan. Provincial superiors present here. Father Romeo Pajardo, SBD of the Philippine Northern Province. Father Jerome Marquez, SBD. Provincial Superior of the Philippine Central Province, Father Roger Bagao, SVD, Provincial Superior of the Philippine Southern Province, Reverend Father Samuel Agaracar, Rector of the Divine Word Seminary, Tagaytay, my dear brother priests, deacons, consecrated persons from different congregations, parents, and family members of our deacons to be ordained, to be ordained priests, benefactors, seminarians, sisters, and brothers in Christ. This ordination was originally scheduled last February 5, but due to the high number of cases of COVID-19, you decided to postpone it and to celebrate it today. Thanks be to God. You, the Santatlo class, will now be ordained to the sacred order of the Presbyterate. As we are blessed with a more relaxed health protocol, level one, we are seriously praying for peace 
in Europe and in the whole world due to the attacks of Russia on Ukraine. Since you use in your invitation the icon of the Trinity by Andrei Rublev, this is your invitation. I brought it with me. This is the icon of the Trinity because your class is called Santa Tlo class, the Trinity. Since you use this for your invitation, this was painted by Andrei Rublev in 1425 for the Church of St. Sergius in Russia and preserved today in the Tretyakov Gallery in Moscow. Allow me to share to you first some information and reflection of Raniero Cardinal Cantalamesa or FM Capuchin on this icon of the Trinity before we reflect on the readings. According to Cardinal Cantalamesa, this icon was declared to be the model for all representations of the Trinity in 1551 by the Council of 100 Chapters. One thing should be said immediately about this icon. It does not purport to directly represent the Trinity, which is, by definition, invisible and ineffable. Attempting to do so would be contrary to all the canons of Byzantine ecclesiastical iconography. Instead, it depicts the three angels who appeared to Abraham by the oaks of Mamre, from Genesis 18, 1 to 15. One thing is special, especially striking as we contemplate Rublev's icon, this picture, the profound peace and unity that emanate from the whole. A silent cry comes forth from this icon, and the cry is, be one as we are one. The saint for whose monastery the icon was painted, Saint Sergius of Radonesh, is known in Russian history for having brought unity among warring chieftains and for having thus made possible the liberation of Russia from the Tartars who had invaded it. His motto was, and I quote, through the contemplation of the Most Holy Trinity, we can overcome the hateful division of this world. I believe, my dear Santa Tlocklas, that your choice for your invitation of this Russian icon on the Trinity is God's challenge for you to be men of, of unity and peace. You should be men of unity and peace. Wherever you will be sent as SBD missionaries, be missionaries of unity and peace. As we celebrate this Mass and ordination, the war is happening in Ukraine. Be priests, missionaries of unity and peace. Let us reflect now on the readings that we heard. Based on the first reading from the prophet Jeremiah, you were called by God even before you were born, even before you were formed in the womb of your mother. Your priestly vocation is already in the mind of God even before you were conceived. Can you imagine that? You were already called by God even before you were conceived. It is a mystery. What a sublime mystery. Pope St. John Paul II in his book, Gift and Mystery, said, and I quote, 
at its deepest level, every vocation to the priesthood is a great mystery. It is a gift which infinitely transcends the individual. Because you were chosen by God even before you were formed in the womb of your mother, be constantly connected to God in prayer each day. God is the source of your life. God is the source of your vocation. Make sure that you are always connected to the God of your life and priestly vocation through a deep prayer life as priest. Before all else, a priest must be a man of prayer. Pope St. John Paul II emphasized the link between a priest and prayer when he said, and I quote, prayer makes the priest, and through prayer, the priest becomes himself. I will repeat it. Prayer makes the priest, and through prayer, the priest becomes himself. Prayer finds its source in God's holiness and is at the same time our response to this holiness. Pray the liturgy of the hours every day. By praying the liturgy of the hours, you are uniting yourself, yourselves to the bishops, priests, consecrated persons, and lay faithful, or also praying the breviary to sanctify the day. <coughs> Above all, celebrate the Holy Eucharist each day as your highest form of worship to God. Pope St. John Paul II said regarding the Eucharist, and I, the priesthood in its deepest reality is the priesthood of Christ. It is Christ who offers himself, his body and blood, in sacrifice to God the Father. And by this sacrifice, makes righteous in the Father's eyes all mankind and indirectly all creation. The priest, in his daily celebration of the Eucharist, goes to the very heart of this mystery. For this reason, the celebration of the Eucharist must be the most important moment of the priest's day the center of his life. Unquote. This was written by Pope John Paul II, St. John Paul II now in the book, Gift and Mystery. He wrote this book during his 50th anniversary as priest. Every priest should grow in holiness through the Holy Eucharist. Celebrate the Holy Eucharist each day, devoutly and not hurriedly. In several sacristies, I have read a beautiful reminder to priests. It says, Dear priests, celebrate the Mass as if it is your first Mass, your only Mass, your last Mass. St. John Paul II also said, There can be no Eucharist without the priesthood, just as there can be no priesthood without the Eucharist. Celebrating the Eucharist is the most sublime and the most sacred function of every priest. As much as possible, spend also an hour of adoration each day to the Blessed Sacrament. In the light of the words of Prophet Jeremiah in the first reading, God is also giving you the assurance that He will always be with you wherever you will be sent for mission. We heard in the first reading, To whomever I send you, you shall go. Have no fear before them, because I am with you. Yes. 
you are not alone. You will never be alone in your mission. God is always with you. In the second reading from the letter to the Hebrews, we heard the truth about the priesthood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the second reading, we heard, it was that Christ who glorified himself in becoming a high priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the eternal priest. And what is the relationship of an ordained priest? of the new covenant to Christ, the eternal priest. The decree on the ministry and life of priest, Presbyterorum Ordinis states, and I quote, by sacramental consecration, the priest is configured to Jesus Christ as head and shepherd of the church. He is endowed with a spiritual power, which is a share in the authority with which Jesus Christ guides the church through His Spirit. It is also written in Pastores Double Bobis 21. Remember, my dear deacons who will be ordained priests, the priesthood that you will receive today in its deepest reality is the priesthood of Christ. According to St. Paul, to be a priest means, above all, to be a steward of the mysteries of God. In 1 Corinthians 4, verses 1 to 2, St. Paul said, This is how one should regard us, as servants of, God, of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Now it is required of the stewards that they be found worthy. The steward is not the owner but the one to whom the owner entrusts his goods so that he will manage them justly and responsibly. In exactly the same way, you as priests receive from Christ the treasures of salvation in order to distribute them among the people to whom you will be sent. In the gospel, we heard the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. My dear deacons, to be ordained priests, are you ready to lay down your life for the flock, for the people who will be entrusted to you? As priests, we are to imitate the Lord Jesus as shepherd of the church. He presents himself as the good shepherd in John chapter 10, not only of Israel, but of all humanity. His whole life is a continual manifestation of his pastoral charity, a daily enactment of it. The encyclical letter of John Paul II, Pastores da Bobobis, vividly narrated the shepherding of the Lord Jesus. And this is the description of the shepherding of Jesus. I quote, He feels compassion for the crowds because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. He goes in search of the straying and scattered sheep and joyfully celebrates their return. He gathers and protects them. He knows them and calls each one by name. He leads them to green pastures and still waters and spreads a table for them, nourishing them with his own life. The good shepherd offers this life through his own death and resurrection. By virtue of their consecration, priests are configured to the good shepherd and are called to imitate, to live out, his own pastoral charity. In his first Christian Mass homily, Pope Francis spoke of how priests must be shepherds living with the smell of the sheep. 
if priests truly are to be pastors rather than administrators, they need to go out to meet the people, especially the lost sheep. The Holy Father even said, the pastor who stays behind the computer in the rectory is not an authentic pastor. Be like Jesus always in your pastoral ministry. Have always in mind the example of the Good Shepherd who came not to be served, but to serve, to seek and save what was lost. My dear people of God, thank you for all your prayers and support to our deacons who will be ordained priests. Please continue praying for them as they embark on their mission mission assignments as SBD priests. Please pray for me also and for all priests and consecrated persons. We will continue praying for peace in Ukraine, in Europe, and the safety of all people in those areas of conflict. May the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, Santatlo, overcome the hateful division of this world. Amen. Those to be ordained priests, please come forward. Reverend Jalasio Joseph Bagakai, SPD. Reverend Ken Jervi Kahilig, SPD. Reverend Richie Maginda, SPD. Reverend Hendricus Morse, SBD. Reverend Heriberto Suarez Pedro, SBD. Before the ordination rites begin, the parents of the candidates will give their personal blessings to their sons to be ordained priests as they totally surrender their sons to God. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these men, our brothers, for service as priests. Do you judge them to be worthy? After inquiry among the people of Christ, and upon recommendation of those concerned with their training, I testify that they have been found worthy we rely on the help of the lord god and our savior jesus christ and we choose these men our brothers for priesthood in the presbyteral order thanks be to god
My sons, before you proceed to the order of the presbyterate, declare before the people your intention to undertake this priestly office. Are you resolved, with the help of the Holy Spirit, to discharge without fail the office of priesthood in the presbyteral order as conscientious fellow workers with the bishops in caring for the Lord's flock? Are you resolved to celebrate the mysteries of Christ faithfully and religiously as the church has handed them down to us for the glory of God and the sanctification of Christ's people? Are you resolved to exercise the ministry of the word worthily and wisely, preaching the gospel and explaining the Catholic faith? Are you resolved to consecrate your life to God for the salvation of His people and to unite yourself more closely every day to Christ the High Priest, who offered himself for us to the Father as a perfect sacrifice? Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary? May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary? May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary? May God, who has begun the good work in you, Bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary? May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Please rise. My dear people, let us pray that the all-powerful Father may pour out the gifts of heaven on these servants of His, whom He has chosen to be priests. Please kneel. Magsiluhod po ang lahat. mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy
and St. Dominic, pray for us, St. Francis Xavier, pray for us, St. Ignatius of Loyola, St. Vincent de Paul, St. John Bosco, St. John Vianney. of the child Jesus, pray for us, St. Lorenzo Ruiz and Pedro Calungso, pray for us, Blessed Maria Helena, Merciful, Lord, save your people from all evil. 
merciful to us sinners. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide and protect your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep the Pope and all the clergy in faithful service to your church. together in trust and peace. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen us in your service. Lord, hear our prayer. Bless this chosen these chosen men and to make them holy. Lord, hear our prayer. Bless these chosen men and make them holy and consecrate them for their sacred duty. Hear us, Lord our God, and pour out upon these servants of yours the blessing of the Holy Spirit and the grace and power of the priesthood. In your sight, we offer these men for ordination. Support them with your unfailing love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. The bishop, together with all the priests present, will now lay their hands upon the candidates to confer the sacrament of the priesthood. Let us accompany them in prayerful silence.
please stand. Come to our help, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. You are the source of every honor and dignity, of all progress and stability. You watch over the growing family of men by your gift of wisdom and your pattern of order. When you had appointed high priests to rule your people, you chose other men next to them in rank and dignity to be with them and to help them in their task. And so there grew up the ranks of priests and the offices of Levites established by sacred rites. In the desert, you extended the spirit of Moses to 70 wise men who helped him to rule the great company of his people. You shared among the sons of Aaron the fullness of their father's power to provide worthy priests in sufficient number for the increasing rites of sacrifice and worship. With the same loving care, you gave companions to your son's apostles to help in teaching the faith they preach the gospel to the whole world. Lord, grant also to us such fellow workers, for we are weak and our need is greater. Almighty Father, grant to these servants of yours the dignity of the priesthood. Renew within them the spirit of holiness as co-workers with the order of bishops. May they be faithful to the ministry that they receive from you, Lord God, and to be to others a model of right conduct. May they be faithful in working with the order of bishops so that the words of the gospel may reach the ends of the earth and the family of nations made one in Christ, may become God's one holy people. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Bilang tanda ng kanilang pagkaorden, Ang mga bagong pari ay tatanggap ng kanilang kasuotan bilang pari. Pagkatapos ay papahira ng banal na langis ang kanilang mga kamay at tatanggapin ang tinapay at alak para sa Eucharistia.
Father anointed our Lord Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. May Jesus preserve you to sanctify the Christian people and to offer sacrifice to God. Father, anointed our Lord Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. May Jesus preserve you to sanctify the Christian people and to offer sacrifice to God. Father anointed our Lord Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. May Jesus preserve you to sanctify the Christian people and to offer sacrifice to God. Father, anointed our Lord Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. May Jesus preserve you to sanctify the Christian people and to offer sacrifice to God. The Father anointed our Lord Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. May Jesus preserve you to sanctify you, the Christian people, and to offer sacrifice to God.
accept the holy accept the holy people of God the gifts to be offered to him know what you are doing and imitate the mystery you celebrate model your life on the mystery of the Lord's cross Accept from the holy people of God the gifts to be offered to Him. Know what you are doing and imitate the mystery you celebrate. Model your life on the mystery of the Lord's cross. Accept from the holy people of God the gifts to be offered to Him. Know what you are doing and imitate the mystery you celebrate. Model your life on the mystery of the Lord's cross. The bishop, the provincial superiors, and the assisting priests, as representatives of all the concelebrating priests, now welcome the newly ordained presbyters with a kiss of peace. Brothers and sisters, 
I now present to you the newly ordained missionary priest of the Society of the Divine Word. Dadako na po tayo sa ikalawang yugto ng banal na minsa.
these rights. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who have willed that your priests should minister at the holy altar and serve your people, grant by the power of this sacrifice, we pray, that the labors of your servants may constantly please you, and in your church bear that fruit which lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant, and by your wondrous design, were pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in the church. For Christ not only adorns with, royal, with a royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the laying on of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the paschal banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with your word and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you, and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters. They strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. <laughs> Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Reynaldo, our Bishop. Be mindful also of us, your servants, whom you have willed to provide today as priests for the church and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Arnold Johnson and St. Joseph Renademitz, <clears throat> Blessed Maria Helena, Josepha, and our SVD martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. <clears throat> Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Jesu liv. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. Amen. The visitors of the newly ordained priests may now receive communion from their new priest. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
my life to your everlasting love will be my Sadness and pain. I know you'll always be a faithful friend. All that I am. Please rise. Let us pray. Complete within us. O oh Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the words of gratitude to be given by Reverend Father Vice Maginda SVD. Mga kapatid, Sa akin pong pagpapasalamat, okay lang po ba na ang palakpak ay sa pinakahuling pasasalamat na po? Sabi nga nila, sa hinabahaba man po ng formation, sa wakas, sa ordination din po na tuloy. We, the Santa class, first and foremost, lift up our hearts with thanksgiving to our almighty and holy triune God for these gifts he bestowed upon us today. Allow us to express our heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to the Society of the Divine Word who welcomed, formed, and prepared us for a life of service to God as religious missionaries. We also thank the following people and institutions who journeyed with us on the road of life 
we have chosen to follow. The Divine Word Formation Center, Davao, Christ the King Mission Seminary, Pre-Postulant, SVD, Batugede, Maliana, Timor-Leste, and St. John Paul II Minor Seminary, Labuan, Baju, Indonesia, where we first gave our response to God's call. We also thank the SVD Postulancy for the process of self-integration facilitated by its former director, Father Jerry Paat, and his assistant, Father Alan Bondok. The Holy Spirit Novitiate, directed by the former Novice Master, Father Benito Limsuan, and the current Novice Master, Father Joseph Villas, and their assistant novice master, Father Andreas Koa, for spiritual formation and introduction to the SVD spirituality and religious missionary life. To our Regency Director, Father Elmer Flores. To our former Rector, Father Michael Layugan, and the present Rector, Father Samuel Agkarakar, who supported and guided us throughout our formation. Our program directors, our respective spiritual directors, and retreat facilitator, who patiently accompanied us in our spiritual and vocational journey, and the whole formation team, of Divine Word Seminary Tagaytay, and all those who became our formators. Our dear scholastics and conferers, seminarians, religious sisters, most especially to our beloved missionary sister servants of the Holy Spirit, Blue Sisters, and sister servants of the Holy Spirit, of perpetual adoration, pink sisters, for their untiring prayers. Our Regency and Apostolate areas where we encountered Christ and experienced a life of love, faith, and genuine missionary service. Santo Nino de Praga Parish in Cervantes, San Juan Nepomoceno Parish, Alfonso, Recent Christ Parish in Tondo, St. Jontadeo Shrine, Kalinga in Catholic Trade, St. Rafael the Archangel Parish, Luok Occidental, Mindoro, Our Lady of Assumption Parish, Lubang Island, Occidental, Mindoro, Divine Word College of Lawag, St. John, Arnold Johnson Parish Shrine in Cainta Rizal, St. Mark Chapel in Kabangaan Silang, Holy Family Mission Station, Sadsadan, Bauko, and Santa Teresita Parish, Malibkong Abra, Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage Chapel, Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal Chapel in the and the Birhen ng Peña Francia Chapel in Gym A. Mary Magdalene Parish Amadeo, Sacred Heart of Jesus Parish Kamuning, Saints Peter and Paul Parish in Makati, and Saint Paul Parish Langkaan First Das Marinas. And to our beloved generous lay mission partners, benefactors, prayer partners, and co-missionaries. The SVD Provincial Superiors of Philippine Northern Province, Father Romeo Pajardo. Philippine Central Province, Father Jerome Marquez. Fa Philippine Southern Province, Father Rogelio Bagao. Indonesia Ruteng Province, Father Paulus Yolo Jogo, Indonesia Ende Province, Father Lucas Jua, and the Regional Superior of East Timor, 
Father Johannes Suban Gapung, who accepted, supported, and believed and considered us worthy to be ordained priests of the church. And special thanks to the families of Father Hendricos Morse and Lema Mangaray, Barat, Indonesia, and Father Heriberto Suarez Pedro in Remexico, Timor Leste, who are joining us in this celebration through Facebook live streaming. And in a very special way, we thank our parents for offering us back to God. We also thank all our relatives and friends who are joining us through live streaming. The choir for this celebration. And to all of you gathered here today for your time and prayers. And we earnestly thank our ordaining prelate, His Excellency, Most Reverend, Reynaldo Evangelista Didi, Bishop of the Diocese of Imus. And we also acknowledge the presence of the Most Reverend Pedro Arrigo Didi, Vicar Apostolic Emeritus of Puerto Princesa, and to all the concelebrating priests. A new chapter of our life has just begun. It is our prayer that we remain faithful to our class name, Santatlo, in our life as priests and SVD religious missionaries. Thank you very much and may God bless you all. Together as one family, let us sing the Magnificat to honor our Blessed Mother Mary. Please rise.
First time the newly ordained priests will now give their blessings to the community. Please remain standing. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
we will have the photo session, the newly ordained, and the bishop. Visitors, kindly remain on your post at this moment. After which, the newly ordained with the bishop and concelebrants. Thank you. The concelebrants, please join the bishop and the newly ordained priest. Okay. 